everybody welcome to a new video uh, due to popular popular request I'm gonna teach you how to UVW map a skin uh, uh, for instance clothing and uh, there's a couple of things that I like to get out of the way before I start the first thing is thank you so much for for the support and the positive reception that you guys have shown uh, I have over a thousand views on my first video I gained about 20, 30 subscribers, which is really good. And uh, because of that, I decided to make a Discord server to to try and build a community around 3D modeling, you know, art in general. I like drawing, I like modeling, I like programming. So I thought I'd get like-minded people uh, on the Discord uh, because you know, when you start modding, you first do it because you want to make a cool character, but then it starts to evolve into, oh, I want to start modeling other stuff for the games. And you start realizing that you like modeling in general and not just for San Andreas. At least that was my case. So I'm trying to get those people to join my server. Uh, if you're one of them, please join. Uh, the second thing, the second reason why I made this server is because I'm getting a lot of friend requests and unfortunately I cannot you know add everybody and help everybody privately because it's just a lot of people asking for help and it's gotten to a point where I get a lot of messages and I can't handle them all I'm sorry um, so I made a help channel in the discord I'll try and help you um, other people other modders who are there and want to help, you can also help people. Uh, that is the whole point of, of the Discord. So let's get into it. The first thing that I did here was make a new material. I'm going to call it Ballas 1. And I'm going to go to base color, image texture. I've already shown you this before if you watch my other videos. And I'm going to get the Ballas 1 texture. Uh, you want to set the specular to zero. You don't want specular in uh, San Andreas textures. And now I'm going to select. Uh, first, I'm going to uh, hide the sharp. You shouldn't delete that, by the way. Uh, it's actually it actually serves a purpose. If you delete them, your skin can have some issues in game with uh, normal with how lightning works. Uh, it's kind of weird to explain. It's kind of difficult. But definitely be careful about that. So uh, right now I'm just selecting the the t-shirt part. Because this is all I'm going to UV map today. Because the point of my videos is not to show you how to UV map a watch, UV map a uh, chain UV map a beard UV map you know I want to teach you general concepts that you can apply to to anything uh, obviously there's different types of texturing I already did one on a head and I'm gonna do one on this uh, it's gonna be a very uh, you know basic video on on texturing clothes it's not, I'm not going to go into seams and unwrapping itself because I don't think that's necessary for now. Uh, I can do a, an advanced video later, but this is just for demonstration purposes. So I'm going to assign the Ballas 1 texture to this guy. Now you see there's a couple of issues. Namely, the back has a bandana on it, but the front looks okay. So here's what you do. You go to UV editing, and as you can see, I have my I have the texture laid out here. And I can tell that this is the front part of the shirt, and this is the back, this part, because the bandana is here. And the reason why it's set this way, it's because this skin was UV mapped with this in mind. And the way that the, the shirt is laid out on this image is different from the one in Ballas. First of all, the t-shirt is not set 
it's not rotated the way it is here. This is on its side, if you will. So we need to figure that out. So here's a cool trick that I learned a while ago. So this is the front part. I want to rotate it to match the actual texture rotation. So I'm going to press R. I actually, um, my bad. I'm going to select one and I'm going to press L. It selects everything that's attached to this vertice. Very cool uh, feature. So I'm going to rotate by 90 or by minus 90 rather. I'm going to press S, X, and boom. I'm going to try and make it stretch the entire way. Now, obviously, there's a couple of vertices that I don't know what they're doing because I didn't unwrap this. Uh, but actually, I don't even know what this is. But I'm just gonna leave it here in uh, in a in a, an, an advanced UV mapping um, video. I'll I'll do this properly. But for now, this is perfectly acceptable in my opinion. So we did the front part and now we want the back part. We want it to be the same uh, the same way. Now on this skin you only have the front part. So this skin you don't have like the the front and back. So I'm just gonna lay this UV map on top of this one. You know, these things don't need to be perfect, especially the kind of UV mapping that I'm doing. You know, I'm just doing this to save myself from a lot of trouble. Now, these two are probably the, the shoulders. As you can see, it's moving. So I'm just gonna put it here. No big deal. It's not gonna be perfect. And there we go. Now you can see there's there's some visible seams on these skins. I'm gonna try and find where these are. As you can see, like the color, this is a bit more gray and this is a bit more white. This is why it's so like it's visible. So you need to be smart about this kind of stuff when you're doing your own textures. Uh, but, but I feel for now like, oh, I screwed up this chain here. So I feel like for now, you know, this will do. You know, experiment, do a lot of stuff. If you want an advanced video on this, it's gonna be much more lengthy and difficult to follow along. But if you want one, tell me and I'll try and do it. Um, and yeah, that's it. That's it for this video, really. Uh, I mean, there's, I, I could get into seams and, and unwrapping the actual image. You know what? I'm actually going to do that. I'm actually, I'm actually going to demonstrate how to do that. Just a very quick thing. It's not going to be as elaborate as if I made a video on it. But this is just to, sh the, this is just to show you um, method that I that I learned a while ago which is very very handy so I'm gonna select the front part of the shirt and here's what I can do I can go to I can press U and I can do project from view and what this does is it gets the the faces that I selected and it, and it checks the camera angle and it projects them it's kind of hard to explain as you can see, it looks a lot like, oh, I can't show you, I can't put it side by side, but you can see it's the same shape. And now I can just go here. I'm 
I'm actually going to make this bigger. He's going to, you know, very quickly. You know, this, this is not how you do this at all, but this is just to, to show you this quick trick that is very handy when you're doing clothing because you can just project from view here. You don't even need to do anything else. And yeah, I could do the same for the back. And as you can see, most of the seams that I had are now fixed. In fact, I might just do it for the back just to, just because I feel like it. Just to show you that those seams can disappear if you're smart about your about the way you place the, the 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 UV map. I'm gonna project from view again. I'm gonna make it larger. I'm gonna make it a little less larger. And you know I'm just doing like you shouldn't do this at all, but it's just a quick video on how to to use this tool, this project from view. And, you know, I also, also have this philosophy. If it looks good, it doesn't matter how you do it, to be honest, you know? Uh, I forgot this, this part here. Be mindful of that this is, that you should be wary of this and also these parts. And also UV map the chain by mistake again, doesn't matter. Actually, I didn't, but I probably unwrapped them by mistake. Whatever. And yeah, this is how you map something. This is how I do it. And in a in a in a video, in a, in a future video, I'm gonna actually do it properly and show you seams and all that jazz. But for now, I think this is good. Uh, again. Join my Discord server. I'd love to talk with you guys there. Um, like request videos, what kind of topics you want me to, to talk about. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.